The great debate of whether to return to the classroom this fall continues in the largest public school system in our area. As 10 News reporter McKinley Strother reports, many are still split on how, how this will look for Roanoke County, and that's the reason leaders are delaying a vote. The first bell rings this fall for Roanoke County Public Schools. Will their 14,000 students be back in the classroom? I'm just afraid that it's going to spread through the schools like wildfire when they do return. Here's the current proposal. Pre-K through second grade would be in the classroom every day, of course, with distancing in place. Grades 3 through 12 would be split into groups with some in class certain days and the others remote learning. But the union would be in favor of approval of the plan as it was presented. Tim Summers is the president of the Roanoke County Education Association. He says the plan laid out by the superintendent is feasible, but he still worries about health. We're, we're concerned, you know, that students may become sick and they may take it home to their families, that staff may become sick and some may die. As it seems, the community is split. The board delaying a vote on the recommendation and holding a public hearing at their meeting Thursday night to get input from parents. It's very concerning due to the fact of the numbers continuing to rise and the children being in such a small area together. Shaniqua Tucker has high school and elementary age students. She prefers remote learning. But what will happen and whether students will fill these halls this fall remains to be seen. You can bet 10 News will stay on top of this story and be inside that meeting tomorrow evening at 6 here at Northside High School. Reporting in Roanoke County, I'm McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.